It's my first actual job since I became chronically ill. have some exciting news to share, news that I am just thrilled about and so proud of. So I've always considered myself to be a hard worker. I have a very determined mindset, but the past few years, a lot of my efforts and time and energy has gone into working hard for my body to improve my health, which can be time consuming and exhausting, but so worth it. And within the past few months, I have made great strides. I am so grateful. You know, we've started new treatments that have brought progress and improvements, and I now have more stability in my health. There are still hard times, there are good times, but overall, I feel stronger and I I'm doing better. And because of that, an amazing opportunity presented itself, and I got a job. I am very happy about this. It's my first actual job since I became chronically ill at the age of 15, or had symptoms my entire life. So I should probably say since before my chronic illnesses came to the forefront around age 15. In the past few years, there have been times with my health where it's consuming just to manage to get through the day, control symptoms, try and have some semblance of a quality of life. and. I am going to college. I am getting a degree in communications. By the way, my spring semester starts January 7th. And of course, after I obtained that degree, I had aspirations to put it to use. You know, one of my goals is to have a career that I feel productive in, that I'm proud of, that I enjoy. But I've had to come to terms with times where I've had to take an entire year off school because my health just was a priority. And health is always a priority, but what I'm trying to say is I've worked so hard for the stability and now other opportunities are opening to me and this is one of them. So it's a very, very part-time job. I am handling the social media for a local business. Um, since it is a local business, I'm not going to give the name just because of safety, privacy, we don't want to disclose our exact location. but. It's a local family owned business in Tampa Bay and I'm doing their social media for them and it's a business that I actually frequented. They didn't have a position open per se, but I looked through their social media and I was like, y'all haven't posted in several months. Do you want someone to do this for you? And then they were interested and I said, okay, they know me and I was like, you know about my health struggles. So it could be kind of tricky for me to add a job into the other things I need to do in life, not just with my health, but you know, school and home and family and church and all that. So I said, let me do it on a trial basis. And so I trialed it for a few weeks. It's going really well. Then they hired me on and, and started to pay me and it works out so well because even when I'm not feeling well, I can post from home and I need to go into the business a few times a week on my own time to get photos and such, but it just works perfectly. Um, if I'm in the hospital, I can do it as long as I have content, if I am home not feeling well, if I have a lot of stuff for school or church or if we travel like to Orlando, I can keep up with it and it's just been, it, it's been awesome. I mean, it's not like a substantial income or anything, but it's just, the best thing about it for me is that I'm putting my creativity and you know, this is part of what I'm going to school for, the communications and marketing aspect. I'm, I'm putting that to use and getting experience and I just feel, <sighs> productive and accomplished and I'm I'm very very happy and, and grateful and, and proud. This is honestly a pretty big deal for me, you know, and my my friends, my family, Judd, they're so happy and, and, and proud because this is kind of like evidence that I am progressing with my health. And even though I struggle with my health on a daily basis I'm finding a balance so I can also accomplish other goals and I'm, I'm so thankful. But don't get me wrong, in the past there were times where I thought I'll never be able to pursue a career or a job or maybe even finish college because all of me was put into managing my health. 
And although I don't think negatively, I know I could end up in a state like that again. You know, health is unpredictable. You could do everything right and things could still go wrong, but I am focusing in the now and that I have stability and better health now and I am taking advantage and I'm working. <laughs> very part-time. I'm also volunteering at church um, very part-time. I'm continuing my education. I'm just being me, if that makes sense. And if you're struggling at this moment, please know you are not alone. I have been there, others have been there, and it can be very discouraging, and I get discouraged and feel completely disheartened, but I find a way to keep moving forward. I know that's my little saying, keep moving forward, but truly I, I, I live by that. You know, things can be hard, but keep moving. It doesn't matter how slow you go, just keep moving and focusing in the right direction. And I'm just <sighs> grateful. And I, I wanted to share this with y'all. There are a few specific things that I highly attribute to my improving stabilized health. One, medical marijuana. That's been a game changer. It's really helped with my nausea and vomiting. Two, Zolaire. That has helped a lot with my mast cell disease. And my mast cell disease doesn't only cause allergic reactions, but also it manifests in my GI tract, making my gastroparesis worse, my abdominal pain, the distension, nausea and vomiting, making all of that much worse. So improving my mast cell, improve those symptoms, the medical marijuana help, the Zolaire, all of that together, has greatly improved my GI troubles. I'm able to eat orally for a majority of the intake I need. I feel like I'm at a healthy weight. I'm just, that all has helped improve my health a lot. Then there is better pain management. In yesterday's video, I actually talked about this more in detail. I had a very high pain day. High pain days still happen. I'm still in pain every day to some degree, but we're getting a better handle on it. And it's because I found a pain management doctor I trust and I am not holding back so much on the use of narcotics because without managing my pain, I can't do the things I wanna do to live a full life. Go to church, have a job, continue school, go to the gym. There is a give and take, there are pros and cons, but for now, since we haven't quite found a great pain management plan, I trust in my doctor when she says, use a narcotic as needed because it's gonna allow you to do the things you wanna do. And we're not giving up on finding a type of medical marijuana that will help. Like I mentioned uh, recently, I'm changing dispensaries and, and trying different things, still experimenting with medical marijuana to find a way to hopefully have it benefit my pain. Um, working with my pain management doctor, but like I said in yesterday's video, yes, I need narcotics and I'm not ashamed because it's allowing me to, to live my best life, but hopefully we'll find a better pain management plan and hopefully soon. So medical marijuana, Zolaire, pain management, and honestly, I would just say being kind to myself, being patient and listening to my body when I need to, but also not allowing my illnesses to dictate everything I do and knowing when to push myself. It's just finding that balance, working hard, not giving up and again i just wanted to share this with y'all it's it's great news and i'm hoping to continue to make good strides in my health and i'll take the hard days and flare-ups as they come but i got this and you got this too with whatever you're struggling with so wanted to share that with y'all and with that i will say goodbye and thanks for joining us on our adventure